In the final years of his life, Matisse experimented with collage because he could no longer hold a paintbrush. Today, you're going to create your own collage inspired by the underwater or nature. You're going to need a white sheet of paper, colored construction paper or magazines would work, a glue stick or glue bottle. I like glue stick because it's not as messy. Scissors, a pencil, and if you have it, watercolors, a paintbrush, and a cup of water. First, you're going to begin by selecting a construction paper. Fold it in half two times. Using your scissors, you're going to trim off the edges, making a smaller rectangle. If it's too large, you can go back and trim it again. You want a smaller rectangle that's going to fit in the middle of your white sheet of paper. Next, glue it on. I'm gonna glue mine on sort of diagonal to create movement in my piece. Next, you wanna begin selecting some construction paper and drawing your sea life. Since mine's inspired by the ocean, I'm gonna create seaweed. And I'm just gonna draw the center lines of the plant. Then I'm gonna go around and carefully cut around my lines to create my seaweed looking plant. Your collage can be inspired by anything, your backyard, the ocean, whatever you like. Matisse was inspired by nature around him. After you have that cut out, glue it on. Start adding more. Try to change the shape of your plants as you begin to create them. Some can have longer limbs and some can have shorter. Some can be more curvy and some can be more straight. There's really no wrong. I'm gluing the pencil side down so you don't see my pencil marks. Matisse rarely used a pencil. Think about adding some rocks or other shapes. The edge of your construction paper can work as the flat edge of your paper. Also think about using the scraps of your construction paper. For example, I'm making some seaweed, but I'm gonna reuse the parts that I got cut out. And not everything has to go on the bottom. Some can be going on the top. I'm gluing one seaweed towards the bottom, but to make things more interesting, I'm gonna glue the other one onto the top facing down. Switch up your colors every now and then. I liked working with cool colors, but I thought it'd be nice to incorporate some warm colors. You want to work big to small, so bigger shapes first and then get smaller. I went ahead and finished the rest. I added some seaweed and some fish. If you have watercolors, this is a great step to fill in some of those white spots. If you don't have watercolors, you can leave it just a collage or you can fill it in with crayons or markers or whatever you have. As I'm painting, I'm also going to paint on top of my construction paper. I like using the same color watercolor as the construction paper as it kind of enhances the color and pushes my depth. Depth is how far something is in an artwork. Try experimenting with different colors if you want. I would, however, suggest putting similar colors next to each other. If you are using magazines, you can even find 
textures and prints of things that match nature. When you finish, don't forget to sign your name on the bottom, take a picture of it, and send it to me.